happening everyone we are back today with another video on the st just another little small video but uh wasn't expected to do this one i just came across it uh on one of the forums basically this guy uh had an issue where he actually snapped the clutch masters in the rod and obviously when you have a little look in the comments and stuff like that uh he a lot of people were saying that it's a common fault with the actual clip coming off of the like master cylinder from the pedal and it can either cause you to lose your clutch pedal or actually what happened to this guy um which is a bit more rare but it did worry me a bit was actually snapping the rod off the master cylinder which means you've got to replace it and obviously no one wants to do that unless the actual unit fails itself so obviously we want to do as much as we can to stop things from failing so today is going to be one of those videos so what I have in my pocket right now is basically a very, very small item. Okay, just took it out of the packaging off camera, it's just easier. Right, so we have a little Allen key that comes in the kit, a washer, and then this, uh, like, machined alley. don't even know what to call it. It replaces the clip anyway, it's just a um, machined piece of alley that just replaces it. With a little grub screw to stop it from coming off so basically all we're going to do now is go down to the clutch pedal have a little look on where this clip is located and then slide this little bad boy on i suppose so let's just open the car up and get some lighting don't hate me too much i tried cleaning as best as I could right well that's a bit worrying <laughs> mine doesn't even have the clip on it boys oh my god right hold on a second so yeah good job I actually uh, looked into this right so if I sneak you up look I have no clip on at all there should be a clip there that is bad because i know they were saying about like free play in the clutch pedal and stuff like that and like as the assembly wears like this will become quite loose and then which i mean it's not it's not loose which is good but it doesn't actually stay on as much as i'd like it's probably a good thing that the uh, rod at the end is um, quite a long piece of plastic but yeah there should be a clip on there so if yours has a clip remove it um, because mine doesn't and all we're going to do I'm just going to quickly set you down okay so I'm just going to release this grub screw so it's not flush no more Okay, so just a little reminder when you're doing stuff like this or fitting washers and stuff, make sure you always go for the flat edge as facing. Same with this, as you can see, there's more rounded edge. So we will always go facing first to mounting. So let's quickly go back underneath and I'll quickly just try and. Uh, sneak you up so you can see because there is fuck all room down here okay so wash her over first and then flat side remember on both slide this over and obviously make sure it's in an area where you can get the get to the grub screw so if i just sit you guys down quickly oh this is not fun on my back i must admit right so hopefully you'll be able to see probably not too well because my hand's going to be in a way or something okay then we'll just give it a little nip
Wonderful. I ain't going nowhere now, boys. There you go. Rock solid. Absolutely rock solid now. I ain't going nowhere, boys. Obviously, when you do do this, make sure... Um, because there is sometimes a gap if that like especially on mine anyway but make sure this plastic rod is butted right up against the pedal obviously push the washer and the uh like machined collar if that's what you want to call it and then the, obviously push it as far as it can go so make sure this collar is right pressed up against the plastic bit make sure the plastic bits press right up against the pedal tighten your grub screw bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt We ain't having no more problems. Luckily, I haven't had a problem with this yet, but if I'm honest with you, that is quite worrying. I mean, I went quite far to get this car. I mean, it was five and a half hours just to get to the place to buy this car from my house. Obviously, I've driven back five and a half hours home. No problem. I mean, and I've done like what? Nearly 20,000 miles. No issues in this car. And it's quite worrying to know that my clutch pedal wasn't even like clipped into place. I mean, that could have gone quite badly being... I think the only good thing is like the, the clutch pedal assembly hasn't worn out at all. Because that would have either come off or that rod would have snapped. Quite worrying really. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's another small one. But as you can see, sometimes these things are handy and prevent errors before they happen. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Just a quick clip as well. Um, I'm filming this after I finished the video, but I literally just remembered. When I first got this car and I moved the floor mat, because I was doing, I think I was doing a service on it or something, and um, I couldn't remember what side the pollen filter was, because I know they're hidden uh, like down here somewhere. And uh, I found that clip underneath the mat, and I went, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I threw it away. Um, yeah, that's quite worrying, but anyway sorted now that was all really see you later